Hello my friends and welcome to episode 77. We're off to find the treasure guys, we're off to find the treasure. Will there be treasure? Will there truly be treasure? Or will there be another cunning trap? My Highlander with a million, million, million missiles. <laughs> it's so over sustained. It is hilarious. But I don't have a uh, I don't have a plus two damage LRM fifteen to upgrade its capacity, so. <laughs> Well, at least we're not going to run out of missiles. <laughs> if we could take on eight mechs without running out of missiles, I think we've uh, we've cracked the code. I do have a plus two damage LRM twenty, but it's not it's not an efficient change. We would save a ton by using an LRM fifteen. Plus five launch capacity and minus 240 missiles in exchange. Seems reasonable. But losing 360 missiles in exchange doesn't seem as reasonable. Command interface initiated. We just stumbled into someone's parade. cover up post. Now I want ice cream. Ten four. I'm there. Let's go, boys. Moving out. Confirmed. Affirmative, Commander. Look out! Turrets. Time to earn our money. Reserving action. Skipper. Acknowledge. Nav locked. Fire. Through by the fire. No retreat. Dusty. Target down. Standing by. Gotcha. We got luck. Target control and alpha strike. That's a kill. That poor turret. It did not. Receiving you. It didn't stand a chance. Got something you want done? Pilo, no, we didn't start a chance. <laughs> oh. I'll just wait here until you need me. Yes, Commander. Jumping. Okay, this is the one that still has its turn. Target confirmed. That turret is gone. Man, once you're at the assault phase of the game, turrets are just defenseless. Target 
target destroyed. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Great. I had my turn interrupted. Which means that now these two mechs are actually far behind the front two. This so far seems like a perfectly ordinary mission. Wow, I'm glad he didn't shoot those infernos. He must have avoided shooting them because of my evasion. Get him! Take I need a new target. Wow, that looked like you hurt. Waiting for the shot. Ripping off. Confirm. Quick stepping it. Ready to get it on. Okay, base captured. So where a sensor lock pilot would be useful is in situations like this. You can sensor lock someone and then just vomit missiles over the hill. It's not usually worth doing because enemies that don't have a shot are usually braced. Commander. Which means that more often than not, you're just wasting missiles going after someone whose defense is maxed out. Roger that. Okay, that was not the best shooting ever. Yes, Commander. Up high. Affirmative. Make it rain! Critical hit, Commander. Make it rain. Ouch. <laughs> Enemy eliminated. Oh, I think that hurt. Ready to rock. Roger, Skipper, kicking it. You get nothing. My new Marauder, man, it actually can run those weapons, all of them, for quite a while. More than I thought it would be able to. Although we are in a cold biome right now. Okay, interesting. A grasshopper with an AC-20, because why not? An LRM-5 and two medium lasers. Okay. Waiting for orders. Engaging jump jet. Nav locked! Fire! Firing all weapons. Engaging jump jet. Accuracy. Through pound in the CT. I'm on him. 
Okay, that wasn't the best shooting ever. Waiting for orders. Confirmed. I got it. Possible kill him here. Hot damn. Let's do this. Tango down. Alright. Well, this is proving to be a very easy mission when the, most of these flashpoints have been very tricky. God damn machine guns, eh? You know what? 65 rear armor, 76 front armor. Actually, might as well just keep on pumping the front. The core has appeared. Receiving you. Coordinates received. Here it comes. Let's go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Six. I think I hit something good. Six HP. Standing by. How dare you? Coordinates received. Acknowledge. Target Splat. down. This doesn't look like a treasure site to me. It's been camouflaged to make it look like a derelict colony. Mission successful. All right, we might as well just carry on because that was very, that was very quick. That was uh, very straightforward though. I'm guessing that this mission was made hard by restrictive tonnage limits. I I heard that in the past, Hades Rim had some pretty restrictive tonnage limits on the flashpoints. But I mean, restrictive ton tonnage limits just means you need to build like top of the line fire, um, light mechs, fire starters, or you know, get your hands on a Phoenix 1B. We have certainly been displeasing the Grim Reapers here. This actually feels like a two and a half score mission. That's the funny part. Is a lot of these flashpoints have not really felt like two and a half skull difficulty, but the, the, this one really does. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, 
All right. Why are we on general alert? They've recovered several of the pirate treasure's battle mix. Jump ship was detected by a netty gale jumping to a pirate point orbiting the main planet. Two, possibly more drop ships. Likely they're painted in dark colors to lower their detectability. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean... Okay, so here's the thing. Camouflage works against optical sensors, as in, like your eyes. But in space, you wouldn't, you, generally speaking, you wouldn't use optics to detect something. Space is just so enormously vast, so enormously vast, that looking for a speck, like looking for a ship, even a big ship, you know, painted luminescent throbbing pink, would be incredibly difficult to spot because it's gonna be, you know, even even at reasonable space distances, it's gonna be, you know, a pixel on a screen, literally a pixel. You'll have to have AIs. This is how they detect some things in space: is that they have cameras everywhere, and they have AIs looking for unusual things, as in, not space. And then the AI is like, I found a color or a pixel or something, tiny speck, that seems unusual, and therefore, you know, human, now the human operator can come and look at it. And I don't think camouflage would ever help against that anyway. Um. I mean, the way you're going to detect stuff in space is with some kind of uh, bounce detection. So what do I mean by bounce detection? Things like radar, things like lasers, uh, things that emit energy waves. And the whole point of those kinds of detectors is that they send out a wave of energy and then that energy hits some object and a tiny fraction of it bounces back in the direction that the uh, in the direction of the emitter and the emitter detects that that tiny tiny bit that reflected directly backwards it detects that and then it's like ah oh, I got a reflection and it knows how long ago it sent the pulse so then when the reflection comes back, it, aut it automatically knows the distance because it knows the speed of the wave and the time. And if you've got this is like basic, basic trigonometry kind of stuff, is it trigonometry? I can't remember. Um, but basically, if you've got distance and time, uh, you can work out speed. And if you've got speed and distance, you can work out time. And if you have which is what you would have in this case, you've got speed because you know how fast it travels and you've got time, then you can get distance. And that is how that would, that's how that would work in space. So yeah, camouflage in space would almost certainly not be a thing unless it is uh, not camouflage, but what we call stealth technology as in uh, things that deliberately try and attenuate or bounce bounce things so that they don't reflect back and therefore can't be detected by an active detector. By the way, if you've ever wondered what the difference between active and passive scanning is, um, what I just described is trying to detect a passive object, i.e. an object that's not emitting anything itself. Active scanning is where the object itself is emitting something, heat, light, radar, waves, lasers, whatever. 
the object is admitting, admitting things, and you are detecting those things and identifying that they are unusual or man-made or whatever. That's uh, that's active search. Just to clarify, because that was really messy. Active is when you're actively looking, so you're transmitting out to every everywhere. And passive is when you're just trying to receive signals. These mechs are simply irreplaceable. <clears throat> and there's a room just filled with a collection of pleasure models, including the entire XLS series. Are we just loading straight into a battle? Without even doing a loadout screen? That can't be right. Can it? This is the mission loading music. Or did I set up before we went on this mission? <laughs> I got I got too invested in my conversation about physics in space. In space. But yeah, it's just a case of space is just too too big. It's too incomprehensibly large for optical searching to really work. I mean Going back to my big pink ship example, it's like, you know, a, uh, a pink uh, BB pellet on a beach. That's what you'd be looking for. In fact, it would be far worse than that. That's, that's you know, it'd probably be a hundred times worse to scale than that. But that's literally what you're doing when you're looking for things in space. Is, uh, is looking for grains of sand on a beach. Or looking for a particular grain of sand on the beach. Oh, this is why we didn't get a loadout screen. Command interface initiated. It's served cold. We're playing served cold. I wonder if this can be cheesed the same way served cold is. As in, you just go over this way. Well, that was a waste of time. I can't do anything here. If they want to, if they want to do damage to me, they can. I'm dancing with an annihilator down here. Wow, it's actually a uh, it's actually a ballistic annihilator too. Oh, this is gonna be ugly. Ow. Armor holding. Oh, great. That's the one Khmer's in. She's somehow in the softest one. Come on. 
come on. All oh, right, I gotta go at long last. Yes, I hear you. Oh, she's got sensor lock now. Hmm. The loadout on this Kentaro sucks. How's the rear armor on this? Oh man, it's appalling. I also have no jump jets. Deferring action. <sighs> Is that your best shot? Need something, Chief? Okay, what is going on with these guys? How's that rear armor? Oh man. No wait, hang on. Ah, uh, it's too bad. Hundred damage. Move into position. I cut. Nice. I need to get rid of these lights because they're spotting for the enemy. Standing by. But they're also f uh, frustratingly. Oh man, look at this chest! It is absolutely appalling. Reading loud and clear. These pilots suck. Ready for orders. Okay, I've got stab busting LRMs here. <laughs> Tell me what you need. His chances to hit are diabolical. Location confirmed. Let's just defend her. Yeah. She's obviously the frigging critical unit. The last thing I want is for her to die. Receiving you. Again, absolutely appalling chances to hit here. Giving them everything I've got. Oh. Scored critical hit. Okay, maybe the archer can finish the job on that.
100 damage straight through the face that would do it on my way putting my weight into it oh. Okay, this is a real problem. If they're set to focus fire that Kintaro, then I'm gonna have trouble. I took a critical hit. All right, he stood still. Finally, I've got a target that I can just blast. Okay, he hasn't got any weapons. I don't think. Oh, he's still got his large laser. It's in his chest. Oh, more idiots incoming. <sighs> okay, okay. Critical hit. Critical hit. We gotta turn this boy around. We have an unknown on sensors. Ooh. Reporting. Internal damage. They're really constantly hitting that section. Look at it. It's really the incredible focus fire. My internals are taking a beat. Okay, right. You have my attention. I'll do what you ask. I'll make it happen. It's evasion stripping time. Okay, he's knocked. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shot went internal. Okay, okay, we're fine. Good to go. Got it. Acknowledged. All right. Reporting. Critical hit. What do you need? What do you need? Whoa. Okay. Copy that. Let's uh, enhance this guy's calm, shall we? Affirmative. Hostile removed. Waiting for orders. Move order received. I'm dancing with an annihilator down here. Six health. Okay, let's hope that the pulse lasers find the spot on the spider there. Affirmative. 
wrecked. Nice. Hostile removed. Okay, there goes line of sight for the enemy. Victory. These are some very nice mechs, to be fair, but the pilots are awful, so it would seem. I think there's a medium out there somewhere. There it is. Orders confirmed. Fire. I copy. Oh. Follow me to victory. I'm listening. Acknowledged. I'm moving. Okay. Oh, I knocked his ass. Excellent. Target eliminated. That's going to make things highly entertaining for the archer. Standing by. Position confirmed. I say that he's still not a great shot. Roger that. Oh, that's the end. <laughs> as soon as I saw the three medium lasers connect with the leg, I knew it was done. Standing by. Position confirmed. Seventy percent chance to hit with the ER PPCs. That's pretty good. Okay. Two goons down. Three to go? From as from what I can tell, three to go. Is it just me or is the annihilator got a weird cockpit window like it's a mad cat? He just stood still, so he's target practice now. <sighs> ow, 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 ow. This boy's got some serious weapons. Holding for tactical advantage. See if I can narc this shadow hook. Affirmative. No. Nope. I hit him with most of my missiles, but I did not beacon his ass. Waiting for orders. Roger that.
got it. Oh. Oh, so much damage. Got a hole. Orders. Coordinates received. Oh man, his primary weapon is there. Roger that. Target's taking a critical hit. All oh, right. Well, that reduces his threat level considerably. Okay. I'm gonna sensor lock your ass. Standing by. Yes, I hear you. I have two sensor lock characters here, so that's fine. I'll make it happen. You shouldn't survive. Eliminating you chose the wrong side. Roger that. Standing by. Ready. Okay, Mr. Archer. Location confirmed. This follows the usual thing of you shouldn't put sensor lock sensors locked on on your boat. Ready for orders. Cuz I mean Commander, how are you going to launch missiles at the Sir. enemy if you're sensor locking? I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. The cache is gone! It's using the scripting from Served Cold, which means I think we're just evac now. Hit there. Minimal damage on that hit. Took a hit there. I'm bleeding, Commander. Sounds good. I'm moving. I've got a sensor lock. So obviously, this will explode the moment we approach it. We should send something fast. Not that we've got anything fast. Aye, aye. I think the archer is probably the fastest thing we've Waiting got. For orders. Commander. Aye, aye. Ouch. That hit something good. Receiving you. Roger that. Well, at least we don't have to listen to certain ginger individual Got it. whining about his precious boy. That's a kill. I'm not going to send the warhammer. Move into position. Because on my way. It's uh, it's badly damaged. The rear armor is badly damaged. Move into position. Are you still alive? Boom. 
Are you hearing that sound? Is that your mechs? Nope, that's the sound of you oh, being killed by the plot. Incoming! the exit. One last push and we're out of here. Enemies have actually just teleported in. This is probably quite the winnable fight. These mechs are way better than the Surf Cold ones. Even if the pilots are bad. Reporting heavy damage. Oh, is ejection disabled for all mechs? <sighs> Ghost. I'm taking internal damage. Yes, Commander. No, he's ejectable. Orders. He's ejectable. He's not ejectable? Oh, it's not. I'm not in the final phase. Yes, Commander. And he's ejectable. Tell me what you need. So we can use the original trick to get out of here, which is to just eject our ass. One, two, three, four, five. These enemies are very defeatable, I think. But you know why bother? I'm on it. Standing by. Receiving you. Punching out. Ah! Orders. Ah! This is a really silly Stand trick, by. but hey. Don't get me wrong. I think this fight is very winnable. I, I had a very winnable position here. But I just want to get the mission done. So, why not? I think it's relative. It would, it, you know, despite the damage taken, the only real damage we'd taken was on the Warhammer. I just didn't want to risk. Well, one, the battle would have dragged on for ages, but two, I didn't want to risk Arano just dying in a weird way. That Annihilator. <laughs> That's a great mech. <laughs> Damn. The worst part of that, the worst part of Surf Coal, is those light mechs are on your case right at the very start, and your mechs are all just stood there with no defenses. It's not even impossible to imagine that with a bit of luck, if those lights focused fire Chimera in the right way, 
that you could actually lose that mission before you even get a go. <laughs> you got six lights that can hit you. Two with LRMs from far away, and then the four that start right next to you. Like, if they circled around behind Chimera and started emptying their loadout into her back, they could kill her. They didn't, though. They were too busy faffing around trying to get into the, um... They were too busy faffing around, sort of trying to get the most benefit out of their ECM. The AI seems to take like a mental break when, uh, when uh, ECM is involved. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna maximize my usage of the ECM by repositioning precisely and not shooting. Like, shooting is the point. Shoot the enemy. <laughs> The only truly good thing about ECM is that the guy carrying it can shoot and not be detected. As long as no one's under the bubble. And of course I suppose he can't be targeted by LRMs indirectly, that's a nice little sub-benefit. If I ever got my hands on a completely ECM lance though, there would definitely be some opportunity for malarkey. Because I doubt the AI would know what to do. This is why I banned ECM from my vanilla campaign. It's a Kintaro 19B. An extra light engine and double heat sinks. 55 yeah. missile slots. Is cleared for fighting. Did we finally get given something tasty? You know, the disadvantage of extra light engine normally is that the mech will explode if the side goes, but that won't be the case in vanilla. So we're looking at full armor, more or less full armor, not quite full armor, but close. Plus 25% damage. I do like the beacon. But the problem with the beacon is it doesn't work on the unit that's firing missiles. So you really want the beacon on a unit that does not have a missile complement to mark enemies for missile boats. That's a lot of tonnage. No double heat sinks in this though. The description lies. Okay, so let's set this up for brawling. To literally just be a missile brawler. You know, you could put... You could put so many infernos on this thing, you could actually, uh... Totally shut someone down. We'll 
put the uh, the high-end missile launchers safely in the CT section. In the head! Okay. So... I mean, this is, this is, uh... Enormously efficient missile launching machine. Heat sinking, 60! It's got a friggin', uh... It's actually got a uh, double heat sink engine. Even if it doesn't come with double heat sinks. Floating around. Okay. 24. Uh, 28. 28 missiles. 3, 6, 9, 12 volleys. Let's actually run these with the weapons. Still got tonnage left over. Actually, for a brawler, its rear, rear armor is pretty poor. Let's fix that. Man, that's crazy. Two hundred and eighty-eight purely in SRMs, and there's more to be had with upgrades to these. You know, with this amount of heat sinking, you could cut these for six tons. And make a shield arm design. And run a pair of snub PPCs plus damage ones. Do a huge amount of damage. Move this to the side. And obviously with the loss of these two you wouldn't need so many SRM cans. So you could pull those two. You could go for an extremely potent uh, energy missile blast on a shield arm design. 6, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 tons. Early game, this would have made a great LRM boat too. I'm going to set this up for a potential shield arm design in the future. I think if, if this was to become a shield arm design, we would cut these. Which gives us six tons. And fit a snub PPC with plus damage here. Take some SRMs out. But it's fine like this for now.
Nice, just needs a defense gyro, really. And obviously more high-grade right. SRM6s, but... That's the perfect medium brawler. It's got basically as good an output as this. As a medium, it gets plus one innate defense, which you should never underestimate. Okay, let's burn a couple of days and see if a flashpoint appears. The Adamastro survivors left with their part of the treasure. You still going on with that meeting? More advanced mix with special technology. Aye, aye, Captain. New flashpoint added in the dumbass system. Which is over here. Here might be dragons. Alright, this game is using edited versions of the standard story flashpoints. Then this is the whole, this is the Alexander rescue mission. That should be interesting. But it will have to be interesting another time. Because that is it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.